totally up to you. Just finding a place that you can stay still for five or so minutes as we start with a meditation. So if you're sitting upright, resting hands on knees, if you're lying down, perhaps letting arms rest alongside the body and just begin to arrive. Trusting yourself to find a shape that allows you to remain completely still for the next several minutes. Knowing that your body may signal a need to move like an itch or other minor discomfort. See if you can examine the sensation without reacting to it. Let's take a deep inhale in together. Fill your lungs all the way to the top. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. And do that again one more time. Open mouth, exhale, inhale, all the way up. And let it go on an exhale. Now allow your breath to fall into a natural rhythm, effortless. In through your nose, out through your nose. Without trying to control your breath, bring your full awareness to the sensation of breathing. Maybe it's the sensation of the air passing over your nostrils. Maybe it's the rise and fall of your ribs or belly. Know that thoughts will happen. When you notice that you're thinking, do not judge yourself. Simply return your attention to the sensation of breathing. Knowing that every return to the breath is a return to this present moment. The past is memory. The future is imagination. And the only place we can truly physically exist is this very moment, this very breath. Now bring your awareness to the physical sensation where your body makes contact to what's supporting it. Feel the weight of your hands where they rest. See if you can feel your heart beating. Maybe you look for the furthest place from your heart that you can feel your pulse. Now bring your attention to the sounds in the room. The sound of my voice, perhaps the sound of one another's breath, sounds outside or in the hallway. Knowing that attention to breath, physical sensations and sounds are all anchors to this present moment. And these tools are available to you on and off the mat. Notice your emotional state without judging. See if it's different from when you first walked into the room. See if you can find the physical sensation behind that emotional state. Now bring your attention back to the breath and just notice what comes up. See if we can cultivate a sense of gratitude can be for anything at all. Keeping that in mind, take a deep breath in, fill up with gratitude. Exhale. Once again, fill your lungs, seeing if you can find a physical sensation of gratitude, letting it go on an exhale. Slowly beginning to open your eyes if they're closed and our goal will be to maintain this present moment awareness throughout our practice. So if you are lying down, begin to come up to a comfortable seat. So sitting perhaps cross-legged, perhaps sitting on your knees, finding a shape that you can sit comfortably, sitting up nice and tall. And as we continue this week working into our theme of courage, this week our action, our phrase is, is action, right? So we've been talking about inquiry into courage, and this week we're going to be talking about and working in our body about how can we be courageous in action. So we'll take some shapes in our body that allow us to feel powerful and strong and sort of when we come across the chest, opening across the chest, it's a great place to feel brave, right? To feel courageous. Remembering, of course, that courage does not mean you're not afraid. It means being afraid and doing it anyway and being okay with it. So let's come up to a nice tall seat. Take your left hand to your left knee, right hand to your right knee, and just start to roll through the shoulders. So rolling through some circles, maybe you close the eyes, kind of forget about what it looks like. Just moving in a way to warm up the spine, warm up the shoulders. Drop the chin into the chest, rolling through the neck. 
And then finding stillness, taking some seated cat-cow round through the upper back, tuck chin into chest. Inhale, takes you forward. Exhale, round it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale, forward. Exhale back. Coming up nice and tall. Take your right hand to the left knee. Left fingers behind. Press up, turn, and take the gaze. Mindful of the twist here. So no, don't need, no need to go too far. Finding this gentle gaze over the left shoulder. Coming back through center and around to the right. Right fingers on the left knee. Or left fingers on the right knee. Right fingers behind. Turn and take the gaze. Breathing into this twist. Coming back through center. Rock the weight back into the hands and switch the cross of the legs. So just taking your opposite leg in front. Start to gently walk the hands forward, coming into a forward fold. Tuck chin into chest as you reach the fingertips forward. Don't worry about how far the hands go. Walking the hands over to the left. Perhaps you drop forehead, maybe forehead rests on top of the right knee. Back through center and over to the right. Dropping the forehead, perhaps onto the right knee. Back through center one more time. Fingertips reach forward. And slowly peel your way up. Let's drop the chin into chest, taking some neck rolls here. So drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Drop the head back. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to chest. Left ear to the left shoulder again. Drop the head back, moving super slow, softening through the jaw. And slowly release opposite way, right ear towards the right shoulder. Drop the head back. Left ear, left shoulder. One more time through right ear, right shoulder. Drop it back. And slowly release and roll up. To so reach the arms overhead, palms touch. Then the elbows, finding this goddess shape, this example of this courageous, brave feeling in the body, opening the heart and the chest, gaze up, look up. Press the arms back to straight. One more time, elbows bend, gaze up, look up. Press the arms back to straight. Bring the hands in through heart center. It's rolling over, coming in <clears throat> to a forward fold. So coming to the top or the side of your mat, pressing through the feet, dropping the crown of the head. So let the head hang heavy here and just start to bend the knees left and right. Shifting through the hamstrings, giving the head a shake. Yes, the head a shake. No. And then clasp opposite elbows. So find this ragdoll shape and find a little sway from side to side. Releasing through the low back, releasing through the neck. And then release the grip of the hands, press through the feet, come all the way up to standing, palms touch overhead. Thumbs come to rest at heart center. So we'll take a few salutations here, each time coming to pause, thumbs into chest. So it's a perfect opportunity to come back. Really common, especially in your first yoga practice, for your mind to sort of wander out into the rest of your evening, into the to-do list, happens all the time. So observation without judgment. If that happens, that's okay. See if you can use this pause, this thumbs into chest, as, as a way to come back. Connecting to the breath, connecting to you in this room. Remembering, knowing, and believing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. 
and that you are enough right now. So we'll reach the arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale through heart center, keeping a soft bend in the knees, palms to the earth, drop the crown of the head. Find an inhale to a flat back, gaze forward, look forward, long spine. Exhale forward, fold, hands come back to the earth. Press through the feet, reach all the way up, palms touch. Thumbs come to rest. Find your pause. So just like that, we'll take that three more times, moving nice and slow. Reach up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet, reach the arms all the way up, palms touch, thumbs come to rest. Pause. Inhale, reach up, gaze up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet, reach the arms all the way up. Thumbs come to rest and pause. Settle the breath, settle the mind. Take that one more time, reach up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet, reach the arms all the way up, palm step, thumbs come to rest. Just like we did seated, reach the arms overhead and then bend the elbows, finding this goddess shape. So broad across the chest here, keep the chin lifted. Very strong and powerful shape. See if you can find and feel that physical sensation of courage, an open heart. Release the arms back to straight, Hands come through heart center and pause. Take that one more time, a slightly different variation. Reach the arms up, bend the elbows. Finding and feeling this open shape. And then bring the elbows together in front of you to touch. And then open it back up. So feeling and noticing and paying attention to the difference. Seeing if you can feel that sense of courage in the body as you bring the elbows to touch. And unfurl. One more time, bring the elbows to touch and unfurl. Release the hands down by your sides, coming into mountain shape, palms face forward. Grounding through all four corners of the feet here, standing up nice and tall, letting the hips and the shoulders all stack. Maybe you close the eyes or soften the gaze, find energy in the fingertips. Start to hinge at the hips, coming into a forward fold, coming onto your fingertips. Walk the fingertips over to the left, so both hands outside the left foot. Find a gentle bend in the left knee as you start to press the right leg towards straight. Drop the crown of the head, let the head be heavy here. Walking the hands through center and over to the right. This time a soft bend in the right knee as the left leg presses towards straight. Drop the crown of the head. Coming back through center, take your right palm on top of your left foot and keeping a gentle bend in the knees, start to peel your left arm to the sky for a twist. So perfectly fine, keep those knees bent as much as you need to so there's no strain on the low back. Just working a little bit of an opening across the chest here, the same work, the same feeling of courage in the body. And slowly release and change. Walk the hands over, take the left palm on top of the right foot as you reach right on to the sky. Again, gentle bend in the knees, working this opening twist in the chest. And slowly release, forward fold. Press through the feet, reach the arms all the way up, palms touch, thumbs come to rest. 
Finding one more upper body stretch here. Take your right palm and bring it to the center of your back. So between your shoulder blades, your elbow is bent. Take your left hand to your elbow to bring it up and across. So just finding this stretch in the triceps on the right side. Feet can be together, a little bit hip width distance. Standing up nice and tall. And slowly release and change. Bend your left elbow, left palm to the center of the chest as you grab for the right hand, grabs left elbow. Breathe. And slowly change. Let's take three shoulder loops forward. So reach the arms up and forward. Finding extension and length in the arms. And after your third one, bring it back and take three in reverse. Swimming the arms wide. And release, making your way back to your mat, coming into tabletop. So your palms are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips, and start to sink onto the heels, coming in to the shape of child. So the sinking onto the heels and reach the arms forward, let the forehead rest. So this shape is a wonderful resting place. It's a place of surrender. Letting the forehead rest, maybe you start to roll the forehead left and right. From here, walk the hands over to the left. Take your right palm and place it on top of the left and settle the body back down. Maybe you turn and look underneath the right arm. Perhaps you feel length and extension through your right side body. Again, don't overdo. Remembering that in our yoga practice, a little bit of discomfort is okay. We never want to slide off into burning, tearing, ripping, searing pain. So pay attention and listen. Your body, observation without judgment. You are enough exactly as you are. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Let's walk the hands through center and over to the right. Take your left palm and place it on top of the right as you settle the body back down perhaps looking underneath the left arm. So maybe you roll gently on to the right temple. Breathe. One more breath, walking your hands through center, reach the fingertips, perhaps one more millimeter forward. Slowly start to peel your way up, coming back into tabletop. We'll slide into pigeon. I'll offer two options. So starting with your left knee behind your left wrist, reach your right leg behind you nice and long. So if this option is fine, you can stay here coming onto your little pigeon feet. And then we start to fold in, letting the forehead rest. Option to put a block underneath the left hip to bring the earth a little closer to you. If this is misery in the body, we don't have misery in our yoga practice. So come onto your back and find a figure four stretch with the left heel coming across and then interlace behind the right thigh. So completely up to you. Both shapes have exactly equal value. One's not better than the other. It's just a matter of what feels better in your body. See if you can figure out a place where you can stay for five to seven breaths. So working the hips here, often a place where strong emotions may arise. So anytime we get into deep into the hips, you may feel a little bit anxious or not. Any, any sort of feeling may arise. Observation without judgment. See if you can sit with it, see if you can watch and observe and let it pass. Keeping your breath. Softening through the left glute. Perhaps softening behind the eyes or the jaw. You can make a little pillow with your hands to let the forehead rest. Breathe.
Finding a few more breaths here. And at the bottom of your next exhale, start to slowly change. So press your way up and then slide the left leg back, moving it in a way that feels good. So maybe you press up towards down dog. Maybe you bend and straighten the leg, moving in some circles. Paying attention, being unafraid to do what your body feels like it needs. Practicing that listening. And then when you're ready, coming back to tabletop, and we'll find the other side. Right knee slides in behind the right wrist and take it back or finding that reclined option figure four stretch on your back find your alignment here and then with a long spine start to fold it in coming to your place of surrender knowing that each side of the body is different so perhaps you have a block on the right side letting the forehead maybe come towards a pillow on the hands finding a place where you can settle in for five to seven breaths. Softening through the jaw, through the eyes, allowing the right hip, the right glute to soften. And at the bottom of your next exhale, start to slowly change as you press your way up, sliding the right leg back and moving it in a way that feels good. So maybe a circle or some downward facing dog, pedal the legs. And then come around to seated. So sitting upright, we'll find double pigeon here and I'll give several options again. So starting with your left shin parallel, flex through the left foot. Bring your right heel across and rest your right heel in the crook of your left knee. So for me and my body, I can tell you that this pose borders on the misery, so I'm really careful. I have a great deal of separation between my right knee and my left foot. So for me, the work is to press the hands behind and sit up nice and tall. If based on your bone structure, your right knee and your left foot are stacked, you can press your hands into your feet and start to walk and fold forward, getting a little bit of a different, deeper stretch in the hips. So again, one is not better than the other or anything like that. It's just a matter of how your bones are constructed. So for me and my body, the hands are always behind. But the work is to soften. So if you find and feel tension in the body, see if you can drop the shoulders. Maybe you close the eyes or soften the gaze. Maybe wiggle through the jaw. Finding again a place where you can stay steady. Breathe. Allowing the hips to soften. Paying attention to any emotions that may arise. And if you are folded over, start to roll your way up, keeping your legs where they are. Bring your right hand towards your left knee, left fingers behind as we press up, turn and take the gaze, coming back to this twist. And back through center, taking it in the opposite direction. So left hand to the right knee, right fingers behind, press up, turn and take the gaze. Looking over the right shoulder. Back through center, rock the weight into the hands and extend the legs in front of you. Find a little windshield wiper. So just 
Take the heels side to side, moving through the legs. And then we'll find the other side. So bring the right shin parallel. Left foot comes across to the crook or to the top of the right thigh, finding your alignment. Each side of the body is different. So I still have a pretty fair amount of separation. So my hands are still behind. If the legs are more stacked, you can press hands into feet and start to walk it in. Wherever you can find a place to stay without misery. Discomfort is okay. We can be courageous, we can be unafraid to sit with a little bit of discomfort. Paying attention and sliding off before, and stopping before we slide off into pain. Remembering, knowing and believing and repeating to ourselves that we are exactly where we're supposed to be. That we are enough right here, right now. Breathe. And if you are folded over, start to rise up. Coming towards our twist, left fingers on the right knee, right fingers behind as you turn and take the gaze. Back through center as you twist in the opposite direction, right hand, left knee, left fingers behind. Turn and take the gaze. Breathe. Back through center and release. Let the legs extend long. Find your little windshield wiper side to side. And then keeping your right leg extended, bring the left sole of the foot into the right thigh. Finding this even weight distribution here. <clears throat> Turn the torso over the right leg and start to walk the hands out. Coming into this forward fold. Forgetting about where the hands land, but keep energy in the feet. Practicing our yoga with distraction as my dog barks at someone walking down the street. She'll settle eventually. Breathe. Fold it in. Slowly start to rise. Keep your left hand somewhere outside your right leg. Bring your right arm out to the side. Thread the right hand underneath for the left knee. So twisting in the arms here. Option to look over the left shoulder or turn it underneath. Breathe. Finding this length in the body to wherever feels better to look over or under. Softening what can be softened. Slowly release. Rise up and switch. Extend the left leg. <clears throat> Bring the right sole of the foot in. Finding this even weight distribution, turning over the left leg and start to walk the hands out. Perhaps you find the foot, maybe you're at the ankle or the shin. Folding over this left leg. Molly. She's a, she's a pit, she's a whole mess. Slowly rise up, take your right hand outside your left foot, left arm out to the side, thread the left hand through, and again, looking over right shoulder or underneath. Find your breath. And slowly change. Start to gather, coming up, <clears throat> planting the soles of your feet. Come onto your back and grab your block. <clears throat> Taking the block on its lowest setting, lifting the hips up. Let the arms rest alongside the body here. If it's too much on the low back, taking the block out, of course. See if you can soften through the belly.
Let the shoulders soften. Start to walk left foot to the center line. Take the right leg to the sky. Find your interlace behind the right hamstring. Start to roll through the ankle. Point and flex the foot. Draw the right hip down as you press right heel to the sky. So finding length in the hamstring here. And slowly release. Plant the right sole of the foot. Lift the left foot to the sky. Find an interlace behind the hamstring and then roll through the left ankle. So point and flex the foot. Finding this equal and opposite as though you're pressing your left heel to the sky and your left hip presses into the block. Imagining my palm pressing onto the top of your foot and you press into my palm. Finding this length in the hamstring. Breathe. And slowly release, plant the sole back on the earth. Staying on the block if it's okay on the low back, this time lifting both legs to the sky. So you can grip the edges of your mat for a little bit of more stability, flexing through the feet. This gentle inversion here allows some reverse blood flow, getting the legs above the heart. Soften here. Finding a few more breaths as you press heels to the sky, draw the low back down and into the block. And slowly release. Plant the soles of the feet, lift the block up and out of the way. Slide the, the body back down and hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little gentle squeeze, a rock from side to side. And then keeping the right knee hugged into the chest, let the left leg be long and relaxed. So find this squeeze, this compression in the right side of the body. And then gently draw your right knee across, coming into your supine twist. You can actually drop your right knee onto the block if you'd like, bringing the earth a little closer to you. Working with a bent right arm, so the elbow is bent into this half goddess shape like we did throughout our whole practice. Coming back to this feeling of opening in the chest. Practicing one more shape of this feeling of courage in our body. And opening across the chest. Perhaps you turn and take your gaze over the right arm. Breathe. And slowly change, coming back to center. Planting both soles of the feet, lifting hips to the sky for just a gentle bridge. Lift the hips up, rise onto the balls of the feet and roll the body back down. Hugging knees into chest again, give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you take the block and place it on the opposite side. This time let the right leg be long and relaxed as you hug left knee into the chest. Find the squeeze, compression in the left side. And then gently draw the left knee across the body for your supine twist, bending through the left elbow, finding this gentle opening in the chest. Perhaps you even take your right palm and gently press your left shoulder open just a little bit. Feeling this opening across the body. Breathe. Even as we're moving through our final few physical postures, still staying present. As it gets towards the end of our practice, it becomes easier and easier to let our minds wander out into the rest of the evening. See if you can be here. And slowly come back. Give yourself one last squeeze, hug it in. And then extend everything out. We'll make our way through our body scan. So come to a place where you can sit, where you can lay and rest comfortably. So come all the way onto your back. And as I walk us through the body, your only work is to draw your attention to that body part and see if you can let it soften. And we'll start on the left side. Drawing your attention to your left foot. Releasing through left toes. 
sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, the left arch, the left heel, softening through the left ankle, the left shin, releasing through the left calf, the left knee, softening the whole left lower leg, releasing through the left quadricep, the left hamstring, the left hip, and the left glute. Softening the entire left leg, hip through your toes. Drawing your attention to your right foot, releasing through right toes, sole of the right foot, the right heel, the right arch. Softening through the top of the right foot, the right ankle, the right shin. Releasing through the right calf, the right knee. Softening through the entire right lower leg. Drawing your attention to your right quadriceps right hamstring, releasing through the right hip, the right glute. Soften the entire right leg, glute through your toes. Bringing your attention to the belly, let the belly soften. Soften through both hips, pelvis, releasing the low back. Imagining as though your body were a flat, glassy lake, can you drop a pebble in the center of your belly, feeling the ripples move through your hips, legs, and feet. Drawing your attention to your left hand, Releasing through left fingers, left palm, left wrist. Softening through the left forearm, the left elbow. Releasing through the left bicep, the left tricep, the left shoulder. Softening the entire left arm shoulder to fingertips. Drawing your attention to the right palm, releasing through right fingers, the right wrist, top of the hand, softening through the right forearm, the right elbow, Releasing through the right tricep, the right bicep, the right shoulder. Softening the whole of the right arm, shoulder to fingertips. Bringing your attention to your chest, to the ribs, to the lungs, to the heart. Dropping that pebble now in the center of your chest and feeling the ripples through your chest, ribs, arms, belly, legs, feet. Drawing your attention to the tops of your shoulders, to the clavicle bones, to the front of the throat. Softening through the back of the neck through the jaw, soften the face behind the eyes, the brow, softening through the temples, 
releasing through the back of the head. Finally coming to the crown of the head. Dropping that pebble one last time in the crown of your head, feeling the ripples cascade like rain through your face, neck, shoulders, chest, belly, arms, legs, feet. Releasing your entire body, crown of the head, through soles of your feet. And for the next two minutes or so, coming into complete rest, let everything go. No more effort. Knowing that as always, you are safe, you are supported, you are loved, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Just rest. And so now, just beginning to bring gentle movement back to the body. Moving perhaps through fingers and toes. When you're ready in your own time without rushing, making your way onto your favorite side. Coming to rest in the fetal position for a moment. Curling knees into chest. Taking these last few moments of our practice as we do for gratitude. For yourself, for carving time out of your day to come to the mat. For trying something new. For being unafraid. And when you're ready, gently pressing your way up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Just reach the arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale through heart center. One more time. Reach up, look up. Exhale through. 